What's going on guys, it's Timmy Cheese here, back with another video. I know I haven't made a scratch video or a real video in a while, so this is finally a video and I have more videos coming out. So, as you can see in today's episode, we are learning how to make a simple clicker game. So, this will be a little more advanced than the normal tutorial on scratch. First thing you want to do is delete the cat. And then, since we are going to make a sprite for now, we're just go going to use a test holder. So, oopsies. Uh, you can just uh, choose a sprite. And really, for now, I'll just be using this basketball because th this is just my placeholder for now. Or you can pick out one you like right now, but for I would say get the coding down now. First thing you want to do is one green flag clicked. Make it kind of big, so since this basketball is so small, I'm going to make it size 300, see how that looks. Um, just make it so it takes up most of the screen, because this is just the game. So I'm just going to put it like this, and once you do that, make sure you go to X, Y, uh, X, 0, Y, 0. This will center in the middle of the screen, as you can see, just like that. And if you want to, you can put in a background. For now, I'm just going to make it an orange background, or you can do this last, but I would recommend doing it now if you really want. So as you can see, there we go. There's our little cool art or whatever. Um, now this is actually really simple. So go to variables, make a variable, and now call this score. So if you're going to make a game, I, I don't know, like if you click something, cookie clicker, you can make it money or something. But score, and make it for all sprites. <coughs> Now, as you can see, it's like this. You can leave it like this, or you can do this cool little touch here if you want it to be new and interesting. So you can convert it to vector back again, make some black text, and put it in the upper corner that says uh, score, just like this. And if, and if we drag it, oopsies, and if we drag it up here, just like that, we can see how that looks. And if you double-click on your... Uh, on your uh, variable, it will change this, or you can right click and select one of these. So we want large readout for now. So as you can see, that's a pretty cool thing we can do too. Okay, to make this script, what you want to do is go into events, one green flag clicked, if then, and then grab a forever block, and drag it under here just like this. Now once you've done that, go to operations and grab this one right here, the one with the arrow pointing to the left. And now once you've done that, go to variables and drag out the all-time high score and score. Now it now here's what you want to do. Put the score with the carrot that's facing towards it, so just like this. And then put the all-time high score with the carrot pointing towards it. So it kind of looks like this carrot, which is what we're going to call, is eating the score. And it's pointing away from the uh, all-time high score. Now once it's like this, what you want to do is you want to do... If so, now now we've got it telling. So what it's saying is what this uh, script of code is doing. It's saying if the score is bigger than the all-time high score, then s and and now now we're gonna make it do this. So it's going to say if the score is bigger than the all-time high score, then set the all-time high score to the score. So for example, right now the all-time high score is 26. If we start the project and we just start clicking this, as you can see, my score goes up. But once we hit 26, as you can see, it's normal, the all-time high score will start to go up. And it's just like that. So that is how you can get an all-time high score up. Now, if, if you want to do some fancy little art, which I'm going to do here real quick, you can just do the same thing we did for the score. So we can just command, we, we can just go like this. And now we can just edit this and put all-time high score. And now we can just drag it until... It aligns correctly. So if we go up a little bit, just like this, as you can see, that th there it goes and it works. And maybe you can add some text down here that says clicker game or something. And then maybe you could put put that in the corner or something. I'm just giving you guys ideas. And then you could write by wh whoever it's by. So, for example, if you're the one making this game, just put your username, just like this. And now, once you've done this, um, that's how it works. But if you want some a more advanced, cool animations, I will show you them. 
right now. So let's hop right into this. Okay, everyone, as you can see, I've messed around with the scripts a little bit. So now I'll be showing you how to make a cool animation. So what happens is when you put your mouse over it, it will expand. So let's get straight into this. So you want to go one green flag clicked, scroll down to control, and grab an if then block. And make sure to put a forever loop around there. Now drag that under the one green flag clicked. Now you want to go down to sensing. And you want to grab a touching mouse pointer and just put it straight into there. If touching mouse pointer, then go to looks. And as you can see, I set my basketball size to 500. So we want to go down to, and as, I, as you can see, since I set it to 500, it's right there. So if touching mouse pointer, set size to 550 maybe. And you can make it how bigger, how, uh, sorry, how much bigger you want it to be. So for example, running like that would be like this. And as you can see, it expands by that much. If I change this to 400, as you can see, it shrinks if you want to do that. I would recommend making it bigger though. So I can just change it back to 600. So that's going a whole another, a whole another size difference by 100. So you can do whatever you think works best. So as you can see, I'll lay out all the code right here. So clean up blocks. First thing, first thing we showed you is how to actually just make the simple clicker game right here. It's these two scripts of code. Uh, as you can see, it's just these two right here that I'm putting the note over. And then I showed you this one right here, which was how to make an all-time high score with a comment over. And now if we scroll all the way down to, to this last one, this what this one does is, like I just showed you, it just makes it bigger when you put your mouse over it. So that is how to make a very simple clicker game. And if, and if you want more features, that, just let me know. And... Yeah, so that's all today's for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.